What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy, Dutch Dolo, and today we're gonna to be going over the barbecue bucket set, man. The new packs 2K just dropped today in 2K25, my team. Okay, let's take a look at these pack odds right here. Under 1% for a pink diamond, 3% for a diamond, and uh, that's pretty much all we care about. Anything other than that uh, doesn't really matter. So there's the pack odds right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the cards in this set right here. Three pink diamonds, Ja, Shaq, and Pascal. These are probably going to be impossible to pull. As you can see, no Shaqs were up at the time of this video. We only had three Ja Morants up, and um, we have four Pascals up. So don't even worry about these cards right here. These are like finding a needle in the haystack. These are more of the bread and butter. These are needed to complete the set right here, but the diamonds are still going to be going for high and uh, pretty much every other card in this set right here. From what I've seen so far, um, None of these cards are going for the cheap. Everything is holding value right here. This Andre Karolinko probably going to be the best diamond in the set. Um, no buy nows up. Everything is going for 100K or more. Let's take a look at this Steve Nash right here. He's probably going to be one of the more common diamonds, and I can see his price dropping in the next couple hours, maybe next couple days. But the way that the diamonds have held their value in the other sets, who knows? Uh, this DeMar DeRozan right here probably going to be another nice card. Um, I don't see his price going down no time soon. He's probably going to be a bid only for a while because um, just of his name, everybody know DeMar DeRozan is a pretty solid player, can shoot the midi very well and the three-pointer. Let's take a look at this Al Harrington right here. Another bid only diamond out of this set right here. Diamonds are incredibly expensive right now in the game. Um, I just don't understand what's going on, but all these cards are holding tremendous value. Lucky for me, I was able to snipe one of the early diamonds, though I end up getting this perfect short for only 100,000 MT. Now, will this card hold its value over time? I don't know, but for right now, I'm going to hold on to it and add him to the squad and see how he plays. Going to have a gameplay on him later on, but we will save that for another day. So let's go back into this set right here and check out some of the cards that are not required to lock in the set. Now these cards are still going to hold value because of their collector level needs. So do not sleep on the price of these cards right here. Right now they are a little on the pricey side, but if you watch my previous video, you will know that when these prices drop to around 1500 or 1000 MTs, when you need to start buying and holding these cards until uh, the set is no longer available for purchase and they may increase in value. But as you can see right now, these sapphires are holding their value. Um, usually early on in the sets, these will be going for 1000, 1200, 1300. Right now, they're still floating around the 3000, 4000 mark. So just uh, keep an eye out on these. As more people rip packs, these cards will become more and more common and the price will go down. Let's check out this Pedro Stoyakovich right here. One of my favorite players from back in the day off that Sacramento Kings um, team. But this right here is the New Orleans Hornets. Pager, but he's still holding his value as well. I'm pretty sure he has a decent three ball. Let's check that out right here. A plus on the rating, a 88 three point ball. So this is going to be a nice budget card right here to use in salary cap, or he may can start uh, depending on how good your squad is. But keep a close eye on these cards right here over time, and we will tell if they're uh, going to hold their value or decrease in value. Okay, briefly, let's go and check and see if this new drop has affected the market in any ways and see if any of the other sets um, cards have come down in price. And as you can see, Chet Holmgren still holding its value, not going down anytime soon. Uh, Dwight Howard, let's check out him. Still um, around at 100K, probably 130, 40 is what you're going to end up spending if you want to uh, grab this card right here. But still no buy nows up. So uh, let's check out an even older set. This three-point uh, royalty set. Kiki Vandeweghe still. I seen a couple earlier. I was doing some digging around. And I seen that, that Kiki Vandeweghe was a buy now for around 99K, 95K. But I didn't pull the trigger. So uh, let's move on to the Power Surge set. Not even going to check the Pink Diamonds. No, those are still going to be incredibly expensive. Uh, Brandon Roy, one of my favorite players of all time. Still holding his value. But I think these cards may end up coming down in price. It won't be because of the BBQ uh, bucket set I just think that naturally they will come down but you got to keep in mind that people are locking in these cards for the collector level reward so once they're locked in you cannot uh, resell these so um, keep that in mind but we're going to go back to this uh, BBQ set and check out a couple of more cards uh, this Ray Allen 
89 overall ruby car is going for a grip right now and it probably will retain this value let's check out this three point ball a plus rating of course a 95 a 95 three point on a ruby car yeah he's going to be insane in the right hands i guarantee you so um but if you can snipe some of these cards i guarantee you people are going to be putting them up for cheap and making a mistake and and not checking the market before they put them up so like i said just keep your eye out on these cards right here and see if you can make any snipes check in between games time from time um to see if you can catch any for the low low Let's keep on going right here and check out some more of these sapphires right here. Uh, Walt Williams, sapphire card. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um, you make and catch one right now. The cheapest I see is around $29.50, so not that bad, not that bad at all. But I wouldn't pull the trigger on these until I can see that price come closer to, like I said, $1,500. 1200 even closer to a thousand once these packs uh start to get ripped people will be putting them up for cheaper if they choose to uh rip these packs because a lot of people are refusing because the pack odds are so so low but um people will not hold on to these sapphires they're gonna let them fly try to get them off as quick as possible so my verdict on this set right here i think it is a very dope set i really do like the players in these packs right here but the pack odds are simply too low right now so i do not recommend spending vc or your mt on these packs simply because you probably will not get the high end players so i say save your mt try to get you some snipes like i did and just continue to uh watch the market but yeah it's your boy dutch dolo i am out of here peace